Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode for To Your Eternity. Look her appeal. Now, you already know the YouTuber things, but if you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshest. Links in the description below. And if you want to check out any of my other reactions for this series, you can click this link right up here. It'll take you to the playlist with all of those reactions and as always, links in the description. Though I don't just do reactions for this series, I do reactions for tons of others. If you want to check out any of those, come to the channel, click on the playlists, and I'm sure you'll find something in there that you will enjoy. By the way, you might hear thunder periodically because there's like a thunderstorm going on. Previously on Urumichi Onisan, well, I don't know if this really has a linear story so far. We got introduced to all the characters and a little bit about each one. We've got the one guy who likes really crude humor. We've got the main guy who is like the exercise coach who essentially kind of hates his life and just hates being an adult. I feel him, dude. That's my spirit animal right there. We connect. Udamichi and I, we're fucking bonded. And we also got introduced to the woman who we didn't really get as much about. We met the Kohai. I, or the two Kohai, maybe? The the two people in in the bear and bunny suits or whatever. Bunny suit is the Kohai. The bear suit is maybe like smart, but not really. Like he, he doesn't seem like he's like really in it, you know? So I want to see the bonds of everybody just forming more. I really want to see that weird creation that he made. Uh, he was like this. I see it in my dreams like 80% of the time. I want to I want to see one of his dreams. I feel like it would be some like weird shit. Um, and I just want to see the way he's interacting with all the kids more because he is the best kids show host I have ever seen in my life. This show has been super funny and um, let's just get into it. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> uh. Yeah! Senpai and Kohai. So I think this would have to deal with Uramichi and the bunny. Oh! Is this the creature from his- Yes, dude! The baguette invasion. That's so weird. <laughs> That's me every fucking morning, dude. That's that false positivity, that po false happiness. Beware of bear, want to quit bunny? He's skipping. For now. <laughs> Whoa. What's about to happen here? This man's full of shit, bro. He never skips chest day. <laughs> he's already defeated. He puts on the uniform and he's defeated. <laughs> The more the, the the uniform, dude. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> How come it only rains when you forget your umbrella? Okay, this could be the jam. Is this series gonna have like a lot of like fun little songs? My animal instincts are being tested again. Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> this is low-key kind of depressing. <laughs> what was that? Dude, they were basically saying if it sucks to have to carry your umbrella around all day. Those little spiders you see around the house. Kumoko! Are they going to be the spiders? I want to die. <laughs> Look at his face. Yo, uh, what is up with the director? Yay! Is there a person in there? It's 
<laughs> you broke her. No, you broke her. <laughs> uh, she's broken. <laughs> you didn't sound like. <laughs> <laughs> They're in his green room. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> oh, to avoid copyright stuff? They, they like, don't entirely... Okay, got you. I'm gonna jump off this balcony today. <laughs> Damn, his posture is insane. <laughs> the chinchilla <laughs> dicks are everywhere <laughs> oh man oh my god that's so creepy he's gonna haunt him dude you can't do this <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's like, fuck, man, I shouldn't have taken this job. <laughs> Damn. It's pretty savage. <clears throat> it's creepy. It's creepy, ain't it? They're going to say it's cute. Aww. Damn. He's coming to get you, bro. Oh, no. He's going to slap the cat in the face. Ding, get wrecked, kitty. Last little freaking drop of olive oil. Hey, this is so fancy. Aw. Yeah, let's go. Animals and anime are so weird. <laughs> what, rice? <laughs> it's very, very, the dog is very much like him. How do you say salami? Huh? Better watch out. <laughs> I like how he just has a straight face during the whole thing. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this one a little bit. So in this episode, we get a little bit more about everyone. We can see that the Onesan is pretty fed up with, I don't know. It seems like she likes funny, attractive guys, but maybe she is finding that most funny, attractive guys aren't very useful in other ways and they kind of piss her off. It, I guess she's having some issues with her relationship. In this episode, we do get to see a glimpse of Udamichi's dream with, what does he call it? The little birdie or whatever. And and it's, it's, it's pretty creepy. Also, they bring it in as like a little hand puppet, which is pretty creepy too. I don't know why you would put that creepy creature on a kid's show, but they do that. And it just so happens that the Kohai has to be the one to do all the talking and everything for it. And it's, I feel like the director is getting a kick out of a lot of the shit that goes on here. I feel like the director might even be putting in some of these things just to piss them off and see how they react with one another. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So the start of the day is actually pretty happy for Urumichi, but unfortunately it quickly turns to depression once he puts on the actual outfit. Like he was like, yeah, man, 
You ever get a, a moment, you ever get times where you just feel un invincible? And then we see him step out of the uh, dressing room and he is just visually sad, hates life. Must be the outfit, just reminds him, no. You're not free. You are trapped in this role that you probably hate. We get some songs. We get this one song about having to carry an umbrella and how it just adds on to to the, the weight of the day and like having this extra thing that you have to pay attention to and, and have around with you, which is a pretty funny way to see that. And then it's low key kind of how I feel like having an umbrella, though most of the time I don't really go anywhere. So nowadays I don't really then we got to see everybody on their day off. So Udamichi did his normal thing, goes to the gym, comes home, mostly by himself for his day off. We saw the bear, the one in the bear costume. He was fishing on his day off. And then we saw the bunny. He was playing like some sort of games uh, on his day off. And then he went to go and hang out with Udamichi. And I'm assuming that the bear joined afterwards. So I, I think they are pretty close there. There's like a friendship between the three of them. I'm not sure how close Udamichi is with the two singers though. We saw that uh, the male singer, the Onisan, he is, or he was making some food. He's got this dog who's very much like him. That's pretty cute. It's so weird seeing dogs in anime because it's always like voiced by a person, obviously, but they always like, they just seem weird, you know? They're always like, <laughs> like imagine being an actual person having to voice a dog in an anime where you're like, oh, oh, and like, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird to me. On the flip side, the Onesan is at a comedy show. So she's saying like, oh, don't ever get into a guy that's like handsome, funny, all that stuff. But she herself is at a comedy show. It might be that her, her mans is a comedian, just not a very skilled one or not a very well-known one. Uh, but that might be what he does. Might be a comedian. And maybe she was at his show. That's sort of what I'm assuming. Overall, another good episode. Not as funny as the first one, I don't think, but there were some good funny moments throughout. Yeah, I really like this one just because it, it is very much comedy. It's rare that you get a really good comedy. So it's nice to have one of those this season. So from here, I wanna know what your favorite moment of this whole thing was. Was it the stuff with the little bird? Was it um, one of the different segments that went on during the show, the songs maybe? Was it Udumichi going to work, not being at work? Was it seeing him happy and then sad, talking about life with the kids? Like what in this episode really stuck out to you and was your favorite moment? And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions as well as manhwa reactions and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoy. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. Until next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.